I'm not sure how changing the positioning of the flashlight makes it use up its battery faster, but you know what? It breaks down their weaknesses, so you know what? I'm fine with it. Might as well use this since I won't be back. At least I don't foresee myself. 27 of uh, 53. Just past the halfway point. Stanley's Home Improvement, Ray Moore and Flanagan Carpeting. Goodness is when he gets tired, he, you know, can't do anything. They, they got rid of that. He used to be tired and he used to be fatigued for a long time. Alright, there was another one. Where is it? Over here? There's one over here and another over there. Once again, the combat shotgun. I'm like 13 away. Now I'm 12, and with this will be 11. But by then, it's too late. I'll already finish the game, I guess. Because if they make me go back to the... Uh They may go back to the drive-in, and there's no pump-action shotgun there. We already know that for a fact. So, in any event, let me in. It's you. How dare you? No, wait. It isn't you. Nope. Is I... I suppose you'd better come in. I'll... I'll unlock the door. Thanks. So wait, when I started this DLC, was that the first time he did it? Or was it, has this been an endless cycle and now it's starting to break? Probably not. I know what you're thinking. Evil twin, supernatural powers. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. I want you to understand that. I don't always murder and butcher everyone I know. But when I do, I'm Alan Wake's doppelganger. Like this. Need to get your hands dirty? No batteries, no moving parts, just physics. That's technology you can depend on. It's a classic. True. What about the pliers? Speaking of classics, you need to be careful. What is that, a razor? If the victim suddenly twists, you might end up cutting yourself. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm a yeah, it looks like a razor you used to shave. <laughs> Old style of razor. Now this is more like it. You've got slip resistant grip. Believe me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket, but it's still really easy to open with just one hand. Now that's a big thing for me. Most people show off their sneaker collections, I show I off my game thinking. collection. This guy shows how he kills hey, people. Too heavy. But sometimes you just need the extra... <laughs> the extra... Ooh, shake the camera. <laughs> this is gonna do the job. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. You know. <laughs> no, I don't. This is a tea game, dude. Ah, I can't tell you how many things I've MacGyvered with this stuff. Okay, now, guns. Not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with somebody with a bullet? Use a taser. I want you to understand that. I take pride in what I do. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? Sure. <laughs> He's the exact opposite of Alan Wake. He's not lovable at all. He's just a giant asshole. Alan Wake is a respectable kind of protagonist. That guy's just a dick. You have to forgive me, but this is very strange. It seems like this all happened before. I have the replacement part for your telescope, Doctor. Alright, all right. Uh, let's get it installed. Yeah, she knows. So yeah, this probably isn't an endless cycle. Pretty cool if it was. Fix the telescope right away. <laughs> jump up and fix it. Go. I think 
we can give this a go. Although I have this strange feeling that something Don't will go start wrong. it up yet. There's a problem with the cooling system. Yes, that's right. I remember. All right, let me think. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary coolant pipe outside. If you can secure it, we should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll take care of it. Before you go, if you have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained Sure, it. why not? <laughs> I don't see I don't really know understand why. I still haven't gotten any bonus from explaining all this stuff to her, but I might as well. Probably just for plot exposition. That's really it. Really simple and straightforward. Hello. I don't quite know what's going on, but I seem to remember having had this encounter before. It's not deja vu, Doctor. This has happened before. We're caught in a time loop. That's utterly insane. How could that be? I can't really explain it. I suppose I could call it magic. I don't believe in magic. Well, of course you don't. Neither do I. But You're I a scientist. What I've experienced. Listen, what matters now is the signal. The last time we only caught a part of it. I need the rest of it. Whether you believe me or not, you want to look into this as much as I do, right? I... yes. All right. I realize you're having trouble believing this. I realize that you have trouble believing. So I just said. That's an understatement. I can't deny that what you say resonates with me on some level I don't pretend to understand. But for all I know, I'm simply delusional. But it's not just you. I've experienced the same thing as you. Doesn't that prove something, at least? Maybe. On the other hand, given your appearance, and the fact that you're trying to convince me that I'm not insane, perhaps you're merely a hallucination that accompanies my delusions. You're not having a psychotic episode, Doctor. I empathize with you. For what it's worth, I'm a skeptic by nature. I completely understand your reluctance to believe me. There are people caught so deep in their psychosis that they retroactively manufacture memories and beliefs that conform to the situation at hand. Sure. But you have to stop. Oh boy, all this complicated stuff. jargon. You want to get something done. Thank you. Just turn away. Stop talking to me. Shut up. Already been here before. Notice how he's still using the flashlight even though this room is fully lit. Before he wasn't, now he is. Lightception. Alley oop. <laughs> same thing as before. Break my legs in the exact same way. Alright, we're back out here. Now, this time we're securing the primary pipes. That's kind of different, don't you think? Weren't we on to the secondary coolant system? Oh, that's right, because they sabotaged the primary. Okay, I'm getting it. My bad. I wasn't thinking for a second. I was, uh... Preoccupied. Some other stuff. Not game related. If I had this, fuck. Had that. Boom! Insta kill, or maybe not. Instant light. Go away. It used to instantly kill. Now it doesn't. I nerfed it. Oh no, it does instantly kill if they're right on top of it. Otherwise, it won't. Oh fuck, that's a big dude. That's a big motherfucker. What the shit? Did a running tackle. Alright, where is he? He's pretty close. Damn, dude, I get no love in this game, man. Why does nobody love Alan Wake? Alright, secure it. Switch it. These beams hate the light, am I correct? You should be able to turn on the light to secure the area that way. Cool it. Alright, I'll start looking for the signal. Please, head back. And here comes the stank cloud. The disgusting ass t uh, what the shit? It's a flying Nissan. Okay. 
What is this part of their tests where they just destroy cars on purpose? I guess they didn't like that. Run. Oh shit. What is this? Death Mountain from Ocarina of Time? I remember trying to get up that as Young Link do that. It's just a pile of failure. Shit, I can't see anything. They would break as I'm trying to run up it. Look at this. I can't get a checkpoint. Nope. Oh, he's tired. Here they come, though. There's no rest. He just looked at something. He's still looking to the left. It's behind me, that's why. Just run. I can hear him. A lot of them. Open up. <laughs> he got stuck in the railing. He didn't understand that he has to run up the rail. Uh, get on my level first. And then he could swipe at me. He just got stuck in the railing. What's this? Flare gun ammo. I still have not used the flare gun. I've had no reason to. I'm saving it for a final confrontation of sorts. Yeah, another tit shot. Yes, I don't think it's quite the same thing we had um, the last time. Still, we're definitely picking it up. Are we getting the complete signal? Nope. We're running off a of Comcast. We Take can barely get any signal. I'm printing out a hard copy now. I'd like to ask you a question or two before that, though, if you don't mind. All right. Whoop! Whoa! Talk to her. Just be nice. What's on your mind? What's on your mind, Doctor? Most people would find these events extremely disturbing, provided that they survive these creatures, that is. You seem to be quite adept at dealing with the situation. Well, you I see, think. there's this game called yes. Alan Wake. I was involved in... It's a it was a sleeper story. hit. I was in this small town, and a horrible thing from another dimension kidnapped my wife and manipulated me into writing this horror story that came true. I learned to fight it with light, and I managed to contain it and free my wife. But I was trapped in its world. Are you serious? Absolutely. So, I'm used to reality working in strange or even impossible ways. And I fought these things, not exactly like this, but close enough for a good while now. Of course, I have certain advantages. Anything else? Was there anything else? What did you mean when you said you have advantages? At the risk of sounding like a lunatic, reality is much more fluid than people think. It can be influenced. I didn't take you for a mystic. I'm not. I'm a writer, and under certain conditions, I can, for lack of a better word, fuck with the timeline, change things. That's absurd. But it works. Assuming I believe this, why don't you simply, I don't know, write yourself some superpowers? It's not quite that simple. You need to follow certain laws of drama, I suppose. You need to That's think right. About consistency Everything has to flow stuff. into each other. Even what you write isn't anywhere near as important as what you imply. There are things out there that will take advantage of your mistakes. You really believe in this? Hmm, <laughs> don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. You've experienced some of this yourself. I will gladly admit that something exceedingly strange is going on. But this idea that you're somehow altering reality with your writing is ridiculous. You're essentially saying you're controlling my actions. Leaving aside the rational arguments against this, what gives you the right? Well... It's more like having a destiny. A path you're on. You're not aware of it, but there it is. If somebody changes it, what difference True. does it You make? don't even know. It's what every writer does. If you write something that affects one of the characters, they don't really know about that. I'm not a character. Are you saying that it's all right to take advantage of someone if yeah. you're not aware of it? Look, That's what I'd say. Yes, that it is. You're generally making all your own decisions, and those decisions lead to whatever destiny you have, what practical difference does it make? I suppose that depends on whether our destinies are determined by things like physics and probabilities, or natural reality, which is presumably neutral and impartial, or by some kind of an intelligence. If it's the latter, that intelligence makes choices based on some criteria. 